Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to create this butterfly chart from scratch, step by step. It's used to compare two teams or groups across different dimensions. In this example, we'll be comparing the alpha and beta teams using the provided data. So let's dive in. First, copy the sheet and paste it into a new one. Next, let's create a supplemental proportion for the two teams. To do that, we'll add two more columns, plus one extra column for our center labels. Then, enter a formula that subtracts the group proportion from one and drag it down to the other cells. For the label, let's set it to 50%. Now, using this data, let's create a stacked bar chart. Go to the Insert tab and select Stacked Bar Chart. Alright, now let's start working on the chart. First, let's adjust the axis bounds. To do that, Right-click on the axis and go to Axis Options. Set the maximum bound to 3. Next, let's reduce the gap between the bars. Right-click on the bars, go to Format Data Series, and set the gap width to around 30%. Next, let's rearrange the columns in the chart. To do this, right-click on the chart and select Select Data. We want the labels to appear in the center and the support proportions to be at the end of each side. Once that's done, everything should look good. Now, let's remove the fill color from the supplemental proportions on both sides of the chart. Right-click on the alpha bars and set the fill to No Fill. Do the same for the beta bars on the right side. Finally, set the label column's fill color to No Fill as well. Next, let's add the data labels. Right-click on the first series and choose Add Data Labels. Format the labels as needed. Do the same for the beta side or the right side. The axis is still not centered. Let's adjust it by setting the maximum bound to 2.5. Now, let's also add data labels for the center label column. Right click and select Add Data Labels then format them as well. For these labels, we want them to show the categories or dimensions, 
so we'll link them to the cells containing those values. We don't need the values displayed, so let's deselect them and rearrange as needed. Finally, let's format the legend. Move its position to the top and delete the labels and the supplemental legend entries, since we don't need them. And there you have it. We've finished creating the butterfly chart. Feel free to tweak the formatting to match your style. This is part one of our 100 plus Excel infographics series here on the channel. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss a single one. Thanks for watching.